According to the American Cancer Society, 22,000 women are diagnosed with ovarian cancer each year, and an estimated 15,000 will die. It's a disease that doesn't get the same amount of attention as breast cancer, but it's just as serious. And like breast cancer, it's a disease that is more likely treatable through early detection. Joining us today to talk about how we can fight this deadly disease is an ovarian and breast cancer survivor, Annette Leal Mattern. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Now, tell me, at what age were you diagnosed, Annette? Well, I was diagnosed at the age of 37, which was quite surprising because I did not know anything about ovarian cancer. Mm. But I've lived with it for 23 years, and uh, I'm here to help other women understand what the disease is about and how they can protect themselves. And you are such an inspiration because the way you talk about it, you, you, you give such hope, and you've become an advocate for women as well. Tell me why. Well, because I think women need to be empowered and they need to be educated so that they can take care of their health. So one of the things we are most concerned about is having women pay attention to their bodies and, and listen and then take action. And it's so important. You also are working with the Ovarian Cancer National Alliance. Tell us what the organization does. Well, we're an organization started by survivors because we really wanted women to know that they're not alone through this disease, and we wanted them to access the best practices and the most effective therapeutics. So we really help women get connected to things that could save their lives, and we also try to change the trajectory of this disease. And you also just uh, had your 13th annual Ovarian Cancer National Alliance Conference. We have pictures to talk about it. How was that? Fabulous? Well, it was very empowering for oh, women. Yeah. Uh, we have survivors, patients who come to this conference, and about a third of them stay on for uh, a delegation that we take to Capitol Hill to talk to legislators about funding ovarian cancer research. So it's very empowering and extremely um, educational and inspiring. And more research definitely has to be done. Now, September is National Ovarian Cancer Awareness Month. Tell us about that. Well, we do have a proclamation from the president signed every year so that we can raise awareness of ovarian cancer. That's great. Yeah, it's a disease that a lot of women don't know much about and really don't talk about. So we're trying to remove the stigma of talking about gynecologic issues. We want women to feel as comfortable talking about a gynecologic problem as they are about talking about anything else in their life. Absolutely. And I'll tell you, I'll talk about my issue. Um, early detection we know is key. And um, I actually have um, cysts in my ovaries, so I, um, I make it a point every year to uh, check them out and make sure they're not growing. And, and that's where early detection works. Oh, absolutely, because most uh, uh, ovarian cysts are benign. Mm -hmm. But for one in 70 women, that will be ovarian cancer. So we have to make sure that a woman does everything she can to um, monitor any condition that might be suspicious. So knowing the symptoms, such as bloating or urgent urination or maybe digestive problems, we don't normally think they might be gynecologic. Right. But in this case, we want women to just eliminate the possibility that it could be something more serious. Just in case. Just in case. And exactly. that's what I'm doing as well. Now, you wrote a book with, uh, with your story. And it's a wonderful book, Outside the Lines. Yes. Did it help you? It, well, it, it did. Uh, I wanted other women to know about uh, our journey and the things that we discovered after I started dealing with ovarian cancer. And so this is a book about surviving catastrophic illness. Um, and it's also a story about how one can um, pull together their resources to have the best possible outcome of their journey. And how are you doing today? Well, I'm very, very optimistic. I have a great deal of hope, and I'm just so inspired by uh, the women who join me in this work. And thank you so much for what you do. Just, thank you. Just for your courageous words and, and well, for sharing your and story. Thank you for helping us raise awareness. I'd like to ask you to wear this um, teal bracelet, which is our color, oh, and here absolutely. is a um, ribbon. To, to, again, help raise awareness about a disease that women need to know about. Absolutely. It would be my honor, and it has been an honor to have you here today. Thank you, Thank so, you much, so much, Annette. I really appreciate your time this morning. And for our viewers watching that want more information on ovarian cancer or what you can do to get involved and help out as well, visit the website at Ovarian Cancer National Alliance. Their website is ovariancancer.org.